plays a very important role to manage the business partner relationship. So let's take an example and let's understand how this partner function is useful in business transaction. Suppose there is a supplier located at Bangalore location and it have a two branches, one at Pune location and another at Mumbai location. So this Bangalore office is a headquarter, it's a head office. And these are the two branches, Pune and Mumbai. So I want to maintain both the address, Pune address as well as the Mumbai address in the MetaMaster record. So how can I maintain? So in order to make these multiple address, we can use the partner functions. So in SAP, we have a multiple partner functions. We can have the, uh, in the our, our example, the, there can be a case, Pune office, where we want to send the purchase order and the Mumbai office is authorized for uh, collecting the invoices. So in that case, we can create Pune as a BP for ordering address BP and uh, Mumbai as an invoicing party BP. And when we create a purchase order, so that time these partner functions are linked to the main vendor. So the, each partner function carries that specific role. So there are different types, different partner functions available in the system. You can create the custom as well. So VN is the main vendor. And for that, that main vendor, all these partner functions are assigned. So let's see the system. So we'll see the configuration, how these partner functions are coming in the vendor master. So in SPRO, model management, under that purchasing, and here we have option partner determination, partner role. So as I said, these are the different roles, right? You can create a custom as well if you want. For now, I will not create any uh, role. So uh, all these partner functions are assigned to partner type. So LI is for a vendor, KU is for customer. These are the standard partner functions, uh, partner number type. So I will use the existing one. So as OA is already created. Oh, let me create a new one. So let's create a uh, ordering address. Oh, yeah, I, I think it's already created. So let me take AA and I'll give it as a ordering address. And let me give AB as invoicing party. And I'll save it. Oh, sorry, I need to assign to. Uh, these are the partner functions of vendor. So it's LI. It's already exist. Okay, let me give you shade A and let me give you shade B and I'll save it. So in partner functions, first we have created the partner role. The first step we have created partner role and assign that partner role to uh, customer or vendor what is for now uh, yeah, I sent to vendor like the second step this is for language specific so I'll skip that and third the second step define this partner functions to account group So here, click on the new entry and the partner functions. We created shared A and the account group which we have created uh, for input I, I, I think IP01 we created, yeah, IP01. So I'll assign this partner functions JDB to again IP01 and save it. So second step, assign this partner role to vendor account group. Now third step, we'll create the schema. So in the schema, we can control whether these partner functions are mandatory or we want to keep it as optional. Here define partner schema, 
I'll create a new entry. I'll create the Jedi IMP. Select this one and click on the new entry. Here we can assign the partner roles we have created is JD, JDB. And see here we have options whether you want to make it as a mandatory or if you want to make it as optional. If you make it as mandatory and when we are creating the supplier with this account group, uh, import account group IM01, that time these are the mandatory. It will become mandatory. So let me keep it as mandatory and save it. Now, let's say this is the configuration is done. So we created the partner schema and assign third step create partner schema and assign partner role. Now, let's create a supplier uh, with account group IP01. In real time, this, uh, most of the fields are mandatory, but this is just for testing purpose, so I kept as optional all those fields. I will save this BP. Uh, the number switch, but it's last number range. Okay, so now the BP is created. We'll extend that BP role to supplier role in purchasing and here click on the purchasing purchase organization enter the purchase organization and link it transfer now here you can see the partner functions now we created the partner functions z a let me try to save before that I think someone has made change in the configuration that way it's asking for the, all those address detail. So why it's not coming? I think we're missing one config. Oh yeah, we need to assign that partner schema to account group. The configuration we have is so here. The account group is IP zero one. So here we have options at which level we want at purchase organization level, or at sub range level, or at partner schema level. We can assign it at three levels. So for now, I will assign only at the purchase organization level. Uh, the I think oh, JDA IMP we created. So I will assign this schema group to account group. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, this was missing. So first we need to create a partner schema and in the fourth, third step actually, and then we have to assign this partner role to the schema. So we missed that step and that's why it was not coming here. So let me use the same supplier, uh, 760. So BP is already created. I will simply extend that BP role to vendor role in purchase organization level. So maintain that schema at purchase organization level only. So FLV in 01. Here, click on the purchasing. One seven one zero and transfer it. Now here is partner function. See, this is by default. The main supplier will be always come as a by default 760. But if we want 
different partner functions so now in uh, sometime back we discussed the example where the hyderabad office is the main office and the pune office and mumbai office these are there are two uh, different address to and we want to maintain the pune address as well as the mumbai address so in that case we need to create the business partner so yeah here you can see we have a account group this is the standard account group so as i said we have to create the account group for one time supplier we can create account group similarly we can create the account group for ordering address so that that account group will, will create the supplier only for ordering purpose similarly if a few suppliers they are responsible only for invoicing so we can create invoicing account group <clears throat> invoicing account group as well or there is alternative b so we can create the account group so now uh, we discuss the example here bangalore office pune office mumbai office so this is the main supplier supplier and under now in this example here we have created the supplier let's say this 760 this is the bangalore office head, head office and under that we have different branches pune and mumbai and we want to maintain this address pune address as well as the mumbai address so i will create the address using the account group as per the role so for example this pune office is responsible for ordering uh, so when i'm creating the purchase order i want to send it to pune office so i will create this pune office with oa ordering uh, oa uh, vendor account group and suppose this mumbai office is responsible for invoicing so i'll create it as ip so here i need to create a two bb using this two different account group so i can i will use the ordering at uh, 0006 here let me show you so here 0006 ordering address 